What's up guys, welcome to the Beast Corner. In this video, we're going to continue expanding our vassalization system. As you can see, Netherlands becoming a big empire here. Already became. Even it's better than the United States of America. The economy of the Netherlands reached 600,000, which makes us to be fouled 100,000 times less. What happened to the Russia? Russia is got out from my vassalization system and as you can see the country gone down that was a whole system of country which is now almost half as you can see now we are trying to reach netherlands what happened to the united states is was that the country started attacking me when country was bankrupt so i had to take some loans but country survived now we are fighting with norway we actually can ask norway to stop the war but for now we're good with it let's see what happens make sure that you subscribe and watch this video until the end because this is the best moment right now happening in the history of the united states of america the country is still under my control also the iron is under my control what i did iron wanted to get out from my vassalization i helped it start to build a relationship with it. Then I saw that its liberty desire gone down by 0%. It was about 70% before. We're going to improve relationship with the Iran. And also, the great partner for the United States is Azerbaijan here, which I'm give my places to. The reason why I took these places from Azerbaijan, I divided it because Azerbaijan knows that if it will be the enemy with me or get out of my vassalization, it will not be able to go directly to its capital. Well, as you can see, the Netherlands is back with its own lands. Let's see what we can do here. see guys we just stopped the war with the Netherlands because that was not profitable for the United States and now as you can see we are just took Norway under our control it's now our vassal remember our goal is not take some places our goal to take place near of our vassal our main goal is vassalization countries and now already we have these vassals that are paying me great money. So bettering that countries is really nice for me. Now we are fighting with the Ukraine, which is going to be very easy for us to war with. As you can see, I didn't even know that I had this 48,000 army here, which means that I will use it to war with Netherlands again. We will also take Ukraine under our control, but before we should definitely take its places. Great, now we have to take this place here which belongs to the Ukraine and Ukraine will live with nothing. As you can see guys, this is actually second Ukraine. The, the Ukraine that was fighting with me actually was another Ukraine. Haha, <laughs> so this is really weird. Now we're going to make a negotiation and I will take these places. So I have to be really close to my vassals. Now is assimilation time. As you can see now I'm just putting the army to the border of this country Kingdom of Ireland and what we're gonna do right now is to fight with this country which has 353,000 economy but before that some countries started a war with me and I want to see which country is that before getting into the war I want to give a chance to that countries who started a war with the United States of America done and now we're going to the main reason the war we should absolutely war in order to get everything back let's see what happens as you can see we started the war with russia somehow russia again tries to do something to me but it will not be able why because russia is now going down because if i will ask another countries to war with russia which will put russia under bad situation so russia will have to want or ask me to stop the war or I will ask politely first when Japan will start a war with the Russia Russia is gone or it's another problem the problem is that the vassal of mine fighting with some country when it asks me to war I'm not accepting it's just making a deal with that country so I am in a war now as you can see guys, I understood that if you keep your army in the water, that takes down your cash flow. Which means I will never will try keep my army in the water. What I will do, I will make sure that I got a really great amount of army first. We started a war with South 
Georgian South Sandwich Islands. I don't even care. As you can see, guys, we successfully taken down the country and entered to the capital. Let's see what happens. Because I saw 73,000 army on this country, which is very tremendously hard. see the USA successfully took down the country and now it is time to make a negotiation I will take the place here and here in order to have a right place in the near of my vessel now let's see what will happen great also I will take a place here in order to move a soldiers in from the United States this break places will also provide the United States of America with econ economically I got a places here and another aid here great not only that the country give me the back the money that i spent to war with it now this kingdom is my vassal and we always have a great relationship with the vassal if vassal doesn't desire their liberty or asking some money from the united states our next target is the netherlands we should definitely focus on taking down that country and i will keep 7000 army here either next i'll convert that 564 now is actually less because of i'm making it creating assets i'll convert it to the assets that will give me the cash flow and then we will stop the war with russia great now our economy will sustainably grow let's see we got a 521 000 economy which will put netherlands under warning that the United States is becoming a great. As you can see, Netherlands is successfully taking down Europe, and this is so, so tremendously hard for me to look. We will support the rebels of it. Let's see what happens. Kingdom of Ireland started a war with Netherlands. That means Netherlands will stop, start the war with me. This is automatically will happen. When it will happen, I have to be ready for that and i have to take all army that are slipping here in europe put that to the work what i will do right now i will ask all countries that are left here to war with netherlands and i will provide them with everything which they need in order to destroy netherlands our goal is to not let netherlands be the big threat under our head now i will ask a tour to war every country that can war will war with it also the russia hey russia hey putin you're looking at me do you remember how big you were come and take your places up also the ukraine that was asked to war with me by the netherlands will fight with the netherlands and netherlands slowly will start losing its economy as i said that i will help all countries and provide them with money i did it's time to watch I see that Netherlands start pushing the Ukraine, which means I will also ask this country back there, which is named Great Horse Horde, to war with Netherlands. By the way, whatever I'm saying, doing is a game purpose done. Don't even think that I'm doing something real here. And I also will ask Romania, a bit, as I see that economy is growing, to war with this country. What I will do then, I will give the money to the Romania and Romania will start thriving if not Albania will start doing great as you can see guys the Germany worked up and now we have to call up the France come on France you can do it unfortunately France right now can't war with the country which is it's just because it made a deal with the country negotiation Great. And now I see that the economy of Netherlands is gone. Time to war and take down the London. We will rescue the London here and make our vassal. This is what we're gonna do. This is our in our plan. Yeah. But before we should absolutely think how we can strategically win this war in order to make it happen. Things that are we that we wanna do. I said that I will keep 7.5 thousand army here, 
but I will war with the Netherlands. Because it's not even possible that the country that I took under control will ask to look better because of we are having the same vision. Not only is it my vassal, we have the same actually vision. Great, I think that's enough that we'll fight with the Netherlands. What I will do, I will ask back all that lands that I took from Netherlands and I will keep it for myself. Great, because I'll take some countries under my vassal. And when it will happen, I will have another chance to be close to my vassal. So my another goal is gonna be take down all Europe, whole Europe and manage it. So thank you guys for coming and watching my video. As you can see in this video, we achieved a lot. And don't forget that we took Norway. We added one, two countries to our vassal list. That's in Norway and the Kingdom of Ireland. Now they're paying me together, it's about 666 devil number <laughs> to my treasury so thank you again guys i'll wait you in the next video please enable notification button so that you will don't miss it goodbye